Hey guys, welcome to episode number 175. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And you may be happy to see uh, that I still have bad turtle. Um, plans kind of fell through a couple weeks back, uh, and then we kind of had the uh, holidays, uh, 4th of July, and uh, now uh, I think I'm going to reschedule my trip for this weekend, so once again, uh, stay tuned for that. We'll have a little turtle play date and uh, see if she gets along uh, with the other Diamondback Terrapins uh, in the 300 gallon stock tank. Uh, from an earlier episode. Um, it will be a good home if uh, they match up. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I know you guys might not be looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, it's about time to move on to um, new things. Um, and uh, this 125 gallon tank uh, is not one of those things. But uh, the 300 gallon stock tank will be eventually uh, but it may take some time to uh, to get together. So, uh, in the meantime, I probably will be focusing on the fish a little bit more uh, than I have in the past. Um, but don't worry, uh, I have been looking into and researching uh, different species of mat turtles. And uh, I will be probably making a final decision on uh, what type of mat turtle uh, I want to uh, get into uh, within the next few weeks, but I won't be buying any probably for the next year or so uh, until I have that 300 gallon stock tank set up. But as you can see here in the fish room, the algae is just about gone, uh, which is pretty exciting. And uh, also, as you can see, the frog bit here has really taken over. It's uh, about 75% of that tank. It's about 50% of that tank. Uh, maybe about 25% of this tank. And again, like 75% of this tank. Not quite sure why it's growing um, unevenly. It might have just been the number of plants that each of those tanks started with. Uh, I did notice that there is some duckweed in there uh, with the frog bit, but it's all good. Uh, I don't really discriminate when it comes to uh, floating plants, so I'll just let it do its thing. Um, as we can see in here, I have a couple coconut hides. Uh, I thought that might be nice for the cord cats and for the bristle nose placos, but I don't know how interested they are in those. Uh, but we'll see. I do have uh, quite a bit of java moss growing in uh, the two of these tanks as you can see, but then I haven't uh, transferred some yet into uh, these two tanks uh, on the side. As you can see with the uh, the current uh, that gets created up here when the uh, air stones are on, uh, the waste does seem to accumulate in some corners uh, of these tanks, namely the back corner there and uh, the front corner here. Uh, this one, it's kind of all over the place, but uh, I do plan on getting out my uh, my uh, vacuum, my DIY vacuum, and uh, vacuuming these tanks here uh, shortly. Uh, as you can see, it's very fine debris. It's mostly just uh, fish uh, waste and uh, snail waste. Uh, that's the other thing to note is, uh, you guys see here, I've got quite a few of the uh, mystery snails, the ivory mystery snails growing. Um, they're all over the place. You can see uh, some of them up here. Oh, and there go the lights. So, I guess I'm gonna cut this episode short. <laughs> the, uh, the automatic timers went out on the lights. Uh, kind of a comedic way to end the episode. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I do have quite a few of the mystery snails. Uh, and they are doing a good job at uh, cleaning that algae off the glass. Uh, I am supplementing them with some algae wafers and some uh, fresh cucumber. And they seem to be digging that and they're growing really fast. So I'll probably be looking to uh, sell off some of the uh, frog bit and uh, some of the uh, mystery snails here and uh, maybe some of the, the marble crayfish soon. And uh, 
the uh, the Endlers uh, will be up next. We just have to wait for the heat wave to uh, pass. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the lights going out on you, but uh, as you know, I've had algae problems, so the more the lights are off, the better. Uh, hope you guys are keeping cool. Hope you had a good fourth, and I'll see you guys later.